Hey, what is going on guys? I have a iPhone XS Max here. I'm gonna show you two ways to take a screenshot. Of course, it'll also work for the iPhone XS. So the first way, the easiest way is a two key combination. It's gonna be the power button and the volume up rocker, okay? Press both, both buttons really fast simultaneously, okay? So one, two, three, just like that. Again, I'll show you one, two, three, press and hold. Now the thing is you don't wanna press and hold because if you do that, then you're going to get this menu here where you can slide the power off your iPhone here. And of course, as soon as you take a screenshot here, you can go ahead and tap down here and you can go ahead and edit the screenshot if you wish. Now, the second way to take a screenshot is we can go and use the assistive touch. I would recommend using the assistive touch if you're having issues with your uh, volume up button or your power button, you can't take a screenshot, then this is another alternative for you. Simply go ahead and tap on settings here, go to general, go to accessibility, and then you want to look for assist of touch, which is right here. And now as soon as I tap on, tap on this assist of touch, as soon as I toggle this on, you're going to see this floaty icon down here. You can see like disappear right here. I'll turn it off. I'll put it back on. You can see it reappear right here. Now the thing is, if I touch this by default, it's on this menu right here. Now we need to make it so it can take a screenshot. So what you need to do is make sure the toggle's on, then go ahead and tap on a single tap here. And then we want to look for screenshots. See right now it's on open menu. And now we want to change it to screenshot. So we'll change it to screenshot. Now it's off open menu and it's on screenshot now. Now every time I tap on this floaty icon, it's going to go ahead and take a screenshot. So even if wherever you are, basically this floaty icon is going to be on top of the screen here. Okay, so you can go ahead and leave it anywhere you want. And anytime you take a screenshot or tap it, it's gonna take a screenshot. Now, of course, every time you take a screenshot, all the screenshot photos are gonna be saved into the uh, Photos app here, or Photos Gallery. Go ahead and tap on that app here, and under Photos, it should be the last photos on the bottom here, or you can tap on Album here, and then you can look for Screenshots, which is right here. Tap on Screenshots, and here's all my screenshots. So, pretty simple. I hope that guys uh, helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.